NASCAR Next Cup Racing from Pocono Raceway on TNT is brought to you by Budweiser, the official beer of NASCAR. This is Budweiser. This is beer. By the 3400 CarQuest Auto Parts Stores. CarQuest, the professional choice. And by Nextel, get closer to the NASCAR Next Cup Series with Nextel from Sprint. Cars rolling off of pit road and begin the pace laps here in Pocono. Wally made the trip to Martinsville for the Bush race yesterday, but he flew. That means his Wally's World car was safely parked in the garage until Carl Edwards and Denny Hamlin, a couple of past winners at Pocono, decided to take it for a spin. Here's this week's edition of Wally's World, driven by State Farm. Yeah, welcome to uh, Wally's World. We're here at Pocono Raceway. Uh, I guess Wally's on vacation. So Danny and I are just uh, taking a ride. We're going to show everybody how to do it. Well, where, yeah. where do you think we should break? Easy. <laughs> oh, dude. You, you better slow down, dude. I wonder if it's loose or tight. <laughs> uh, let's not find out. Hey, so where'd you know you had the flat? Uh, it's a little bit further down. This I'm little just... short shoot here. I said, you know what? I better spin this car out before I get to the tunnel turn. Oh, so you spun it out on purpose? Yeah. Hey, if this makes you feel better, I got a sack of that for you. Yeah, it was real dirty. <laughs> my car. Well, yeah, some over here, some over there. There you go. Just like home, you got to decorate it. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what if I just wiggle it like that? No, don't do that. <laughs> All right, easy. <laughs> hey, can you steer? No. I can't see a thing. Here, I got it. All right. Thanks, buddy. So you got to get. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Did I go through the grass a little bit? I'm with you. 110%. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. That's that was pretty good. Asphalt. Woo! <laughs> I see Wally do that. Yeah, but he's he's not meant to do it when he did it. Hey, you want to do a victory donut? We can. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Woo! We're the winners. Woo! Woo! That's our ride in uh, Wally's car there, buddy. It's Carl's, it's Carl's world. We're living in it. <laughs> did you get down there and clean out the dirt from that car there, Wally? I'm going to speak with Carl in a few minutes about that. We did learn something, though, this week. That car can go fast, can it, BP? Uh, it was very fast, <laughs> especially in the grass. <laughs> Budweiser, the official beer of NASCAR, is the proud sponsor of the Budweiser Pole Award, given to the fastest qualifier in each NASCAR Next Hell Cup Series race. Budweiser congratulates Denny Hamlin for his second pole of the season, and he is the defending champion of the Budweiser shootout at Daytona. We'll see him there in February. And here's the starting grid for today's Pennsylvania 500. Denny Hamlin on the pole. He won from the pole here six weeks ago. Ryan Newman starts outside of row one. In row two, a couple of young guys on the inside. Casey Kane on the outside. Brian Fickers, who has a great chance to win today. In row three, three-time Pocono winner Jeff Gordon, next to Jeff Burton looking for his first win since 2001. We find the Bush brothers in row five, Kurt, who won this race last year, and Kyle Bush, who won last week. And we'll take a look at the rest of the starting grid. We'll remind you one more time there was no practice here yesterday, and that there will be a competition caution at lap 20. No refueling under green until after that competition caution. Wally's going to dial up his new friend Carl Edwards on the radio. Let's try him. Hey, Carl, this is Wally in the booth. Can you hear me? Yeah, hey, I got you loud and clear, Wally. I, I didn't know you'd be talking to me after what I did to your car. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. You know, the Pennies have some rules about what you can do with the Wally's World car, and you uh, you broke all of them. Uh, the king is looking for you. Well, I tell him I deeply apologize, but Denny, Denny is such a bad influence on me, man. He just, uh, <laughs> it was all him. He was telling me, spin it out, spin it out. I said, no, Denny. I don't think we ought to do that. And he just, he wouldn't let me, not, you know, get away with it. Yeah, the tape showed that. You're absolutely <laughs> right, Carl. Hey, how about your car today? You got something that uh, you can get up there and uh, race Denny with? Yeah, I, I hope I get up there and race Denny. Our office depot fusion's great. We're uh, trying to kick off our back-to-school promotion with a win here. You know, we uh, we got to get back to victory lane. This could be the place for us, you know. 
Well, you know how to get around this place, that's for sure. So good luck today, and uh, you guys, you, you got that caution at uh, lap 20, but um, go get them. Hey, thanks, Wally, and thanks for having me, uh, letting me drive your car. That was fun. No problem. Uh, it'll never happen again, Carl. Good <laughs> for <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had a blast doing that, didn't they? It's it sure looked team. like it. Sure did. And Jimmy Spencer starts 43rd today here at Pocono. No drivers to the back, and you see the four drivers that did not qualify for today's 500-mile race. A very tight pit road here at Pocono. The pit stalls are large, but the outside wall can squeeze the cars together. When they get busy, our guys are spread out from pit in near turn three. All the way to pit out toward turn one. Let's start with Marty Snyder. Bill here in June. Kyle Busch got a speeding penalty coming on to pit road. So how do you solve that? Well, if you qualify high enough, you can pick the very last stall on pit road, and that's what they did today. They're in the very first stall, so it's kind of hard to get a speeding penalty coming coming on to pit road. They hopefully have eliminated that problem. This will be their lucky stall, hopefully getting them their second win in a row. Now, what bad thing happened to Kyle Want this week is he lost his lucky sunglasses that had taken him to three straight top five finishes. He has some brand new ones, but if they're not bringing good luck, he's going to effort the search for the old sunglasses glasses. Dave? Marty, Jeff Gordon has already talked about it, and Benny and Wally have already talked about it. Brakes very important here. Jeff and his team trying to overcome the bad brake situation they had earlier at Pocono. They think they've got that solved. The good break for Jeff this weekend, a pit stall with an opening right before it. Easy entry into Jeff's pit. Hopefully that way he can get on and off pit road looking for his fourth Pocono win. Matt? Dave, it's already been a very productive weekend for Kevin Harvick. Saturday, he won a grandfather's clock down at Martinsville winning the Bush race. A win today would be the third time in his career. He won a Bush and Cup race the same weekend. Now, Harvick's team chose pit stall number 10 here on pit road. Now, there is some concern because the last five races here, there have been at least 20 cars on the lead lap, which means a good chance Harvick will have a good car behind him pitting and a good car in front. So they're going to try to work together so there aren't issues on pit road. Harvick rolls off from the 12th position. Position. He's never scored a top five here at Pocono. He hopes to change that today. Alan? Matt, a little over a month ago, Denny Hamlin started on pole and won here at Pocono from the first pit stall at pit exit. He's on pole for this race, also in that very first pit stall at pit exit. His crew chief, Mike Ford's message to Denny and the team this morning, don't be overconfident. Just because you won here last month doesn't mean you're going to win today. And along those lines, the second message was communicate. For Denny from the driver's seat to keep feeding information back to the team in the pits on their car's handling so they can keep up with adjustments and have the best car when it counts the most at the finish. Bill? Thanks, Alan. You guys have a great race down there. And you heard Alan talk about communication. Here's the pre-race pep talk from the points leading team of Jimmy Johnson. So have a good day. Let's uh, head off from this off weekend with something we're proud of. And it's just giving everything we got. We don't know what today's going to hold for us. Let's just do all that we can, whatever it takes. You guys are the best.